Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at what in the world archetypes are in Hugo. So I'm going to get started by creating a Hugo site. So Hugo new site, Hugo archetypes, because this is just for the sake of the tutorial. If you don't know how to use Hugo. I have a completely separate video on that. You can get up and running a site online in less than 20 minutes. Put the link in the description, check that out, then come back to this video and continue on. So let's switch directories to our Hugo Archetypes project folder and see what we got. So we have a bunch of folders archetypes, content, data, layout, static themes, and our config file. We're only interested in the archetypes folder for this tutorial though. So let's see what's in there. Just a default.md file. I'm gonna quick take a look at what this is, you know. So this is the default, it's kind of like um, the structure or metadata for every single new Hugo page that we create. If I say um, Hugo new post slash first post, this is the default metadata that Hugo is going to put in there for us. So it's a markdown file. We have these three dashes and three dashes here. Hugo interprets that as, okay, there's metadata up here. Um, but if we wanted, we could edit this file and maybe we want all pages by default to have a header. I can say header, something like that. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Um, what I'm more interested in is um, these curly brackets because if you're familiar with Hugo, whenever you create a new post, um, you get these, these three um, pieces of metadata, but it doesn't have squiggly brackets here. Um, I'm actually going to demo that really fast for you. I'm going to say Hugo new. Uh, how about a new? Well, let's make let's make posts. So new post first dot md. Okay. Now I'm going to open up that file. It's in content content um, post first, and it says oh right here it says first, that's our title, and then it gives this big, long, ugly string as our date, and draft is true, of course. Um, go back to editing this. It turns out that inside of these squiggly brackets is actually um, the Go, uh, well, this file is a Go template, so anything inside the squiggly brackets um, is Go code. Now, I'm not super familiar with Go, the Go language myself, but um, it's not too difficult to understand. This is the replace function, of course, as per its name. It is taking this translation base name um, as its first argument and replacing all instances of a dash with a space. And then it's piping. Now, this is really clever. In my opinion, they, uh, the developers of Go took the pipe symbol, which in Bash is used to redirect output. Um, and so they're doing the same thing here. They're redirecting the output to the title function, which converts to title case. So it will capitalize the uh, first letter of each word, basically. Um, and then, of course, we have the date function being called here. And we can see how that turned out. Um, but what I want to do now is I'm going to copy archetypes default, our default archetype, to, uh, if I can type, archetypes post.md. Now, this name, post, right here, I said post, that is important because now whenever I say Hugo new post, instead of reading from the default.md, it's going to read from post.md. So I can now have custom archetypes based on what sort of page I'm creating in my Hugo site. So um, let's edit our um, 
post archetype so we can see this in action. I'm going to give all of our posts a default category and some default tags. So categories here, um, how to is our default category and tags. Um, I'll say programming and um, computers. There we go. And we can give it like a default content structure as well if you want. Um, and remember, this is uh, a Go template. So you can do fancy Go templating tricks in here. I don't know Go quite well enough to do that. But, um, and it's this is not a Go templating tutorial anyway. So, so there. So we can make a header and maybe say lorem ipsum. There we go. All right, now, moment of truth, Hugo, new post second.md. Well, now it's the moment of truth. Hey, second, date, default categories and tags, and a rudimentary document uh, content structure, whatever you want to call that. Now, you know the drill close this out. You can build your Hugo site. You can serve it. You can upload it. But that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Nice, quick, easy thing to look at. Um, I would recommend looking at the Hugo documentation for all of the um, functions and variables that you can use in your Go templates. And also, um, learn Go with me because that's the, that's the next language that I want to learn. I love JavaScript. Lots of my tutorials are on JavaScript, but, you know, don't want to limit myself. So I think I'm going to learn Go next. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was um, kind of kind of interesting, actually. So as of the recording of this tutorial, the docs for Hugo archetypes are a little bit in um, they're kind of up in the air because as of Hugo two no hugo 0.2.4 uh, let's see i'm running i think 25.1 yeah 0.25.1 uh that's the bug fix build for 0.25 um but anyways as of hugo 0.24 um they just changed how archetypes work so that was fun digging through docs and code and change log um so you don't have to yeah so they just changed archetypes so that they're go templates instead of what they were before yeah there you go hope you enjoyed the tutorial i uh, hope you learned something from it don't forget to subscribe my name is jacob i need to go to bed and have a good one